This week on Inside Boulder News. The primary elections are just around the corner. We'll tell you what changes voters can expect. Boulder County sees a spike in COVID-19 cases. And this favorite library summer program is back. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendano. We start off this week with your COVID-19 update. Boulder County public health officials report over 1,137 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the county and 70 deaths. Statewide, the total number of COVID-19 cases has surpassed 29,600, while coronavirus deaths in the state stand at over 1,400. Boulder County is seeing a significant increase in new COVID-19 cases. Since June 11th and as of 8 a.m. on Wednesday, June 17th, 108 Boulder County residents have tested positive for COVID-19. The majority of new cases are among college-age individuals living in the Hill neighborhood, although this does not represent all of the new cases. A person who recently tested positive for COVID-19 has reported that they attended a Black Lives Matter protest on the Hill near CU on June 4th. They had very mild symptoms of no taste, no smell at the time of the protest. Anyone who attended the event should monitor for symptoms, immediately self-isolate if they develop symptoms, and get tested. Local testing information can be found on the website seen on your screen. These new cases represent a reversal in the trend of new cases in Boulder County. Prior to last week, Boulder County had the second lowest new case rate in the Metro Denver area. As of today, the county has the third highest increase in new cases just after Denver and Adam counties. While restrictions are starting to ease, this is a reminder that people are still safer at home. Coloradans are strongly advised to continue staying at home to the greatest extent possible, only interacting with household contacts and only leaving for essential activities. At-risk individuals such as people 65 and older should continue to stay at home unless absolutely necessary. More information can be found on the website seen on your screen. The City of Boulder announced this week that it has expanded the Boulder Business Recovery Program, which was first launched in late May. The City recognizes the significant impact COVID-19 has had on local businesses and is committed to supporting its business community through this very program. According to an emergency order issued on June 16th, additional types of businesses will now be allowed to expand outdoors into parking spaces, public rights of way, and private property. Eligible businesses include restaurants, retail, theaters, and a whole wide array of personal services like acupuncture or massage. The city has currently closed several streets to accommodate the program, which includes Pearl Street between 9th and 11th Streets and the Venn Streets on Uni Hill, among others. Through this program, the city has also converted existing loading zones and parking spaces into curbside pickup zones. These are free of charge for 10 minutes. Businesses not in the vicinity of an existing curbside pickup zone may apply for a new zone through an online application. Finally, from now until September 30th, to provide a better customer experience for East End retail businesses and restaurants, the hot bus is being rerouted from Pearl Street onto Walnut Street between 15th and 20th Street. Businesses, employees, and customers should continue to follow safety guidelines outlined in Colorado Safer at Home Order, which includes the practice of social distancing and wearing face coverings. For more information, criteria, a map of program locations, and the program application, visit the website seen on your screen. The primary elections are just around the corner. We spoke to Boulder County's clerk and recorder, Molly Fitzpatrick, to learn about what voters can expect this season amid the COVID-19 pandemic. We are in election two out of three for 2020. So the primary election is on June 30th, 2020. And the primary election, it's a statewide primary election and primary is for statewide, um, local elections, Congress and US Senate. Boulder County sent out ballots to voters the week of June 8th. Those who are unaffiliated will receive both a Democrat and Republican ballot in the mail but will only be allowed to return one. Voters registered to a specific political party will receive their prospective ballot. We um, are opening up vote centers on June 22nd, which is Monday. Um, Monday, June 22nd is also the deadline for our office to send voters a ballot in the mail if they register on GoVoteColorado.gov. Only three voter service centers will be available for the primary, one in Boulder, Lafayette, and Logmont. 
The Voter Service Center at CU's UMC will be closed for this election due to campus building closures and event cancellations. Uh, voters have options in how they may return their mail-in ballot back to our office. First, they can drop it in the mail and um, our preferred method is um, our 24-hour drop boxes that are placed throughout the county. And then um, voters may also drop it off at a vote center, which again opens on June 22nd. If you must vote in person due to COVID-19, voters and election judges alike have to follow Boulder County public health protocols, which include wearing face coverings and maintaining six-foot physical distancing between individuals. Our guiding, you know, North Star the last couple of months has been um, to create an environment that is as safe as possible for election judges, workers, staff, and voters, while also ensuring that every voter has the opportunity to fully participate in our elections process. Residents in Colorado can register to vote up to and including Election Day. To register to vote, please visit GoVoteColorado.gov. For election information, locations, and ballot track sign-up, please visit bouldercountyvotes.org. Late last month, Boulder City Council made a unanimous vote in favor of lowering speeds on some residential roads from 25 miles an hour to 20, also known in the community as 20 is plenty. This change went to effect this week. The default speed limit in the city, or the legal speed where no signs are posted, has been lowered to 20 miles per hour. This change officially went to effect on June 18th. The city will be lowering the posted speed limit on appropriate local residential streets and currently plans to change the speed limit at over 400 locations. Staff will be replacing existing signs with new Vision Zero 20 miles per hour speed limit signs by the end of July. More information can be found on the website seen on your screen. Boulder Public Library's annual Summer Reading Challenge and Activity Program, Summer of Discovery, is back for 2020. The now virtual program for children, teens, and adults run through August 31st. This year's theme is Our Connected Stories, which highlights the rich diversity of cultures, backgrounds, and histories of participants. Register, track your participation, join along events and programs, and learn about the Summer of Discovery app for phones and tablets at boulderlibrary.org forward slash summer. Boulder Public Library has modified its library services to keep visitors safe this summer, including the creation of a carryout service for holds on physical library materials, a wide range of virtual services, programs, and events, and online libraries for all ages. More information can be found on boulderlibrary.org. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. Stay tuned to Boulder Channel 8 for up-to-date information on coronavirus. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. And be sure to check out the city's online newsroom for the latest city news. We'll see you next time.